New at 5 o'clock in Turkey, those who escaped with their lives don't have much else to their names. And one local police department is stepping up to help. As Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo explains, the cause hits closer to home than you may realize. There we go. What comfort can you give someone you don't know on the other side of the world who just lost everything in an earthquake? Blankets, towels, uh, jackets, sweaters, socks. It can be hard to know for sure, but in Naugatuck, those who want to help know exactly what to donate. And there's a reason why. And if you have not heard, on February 6th, Turkey and Syria were struck with two major earthquakes. While most one, can't begin to imagine surviving earthquakes exceeding a seven on the Richter scale, Naugatuck officer Errol Octon has lived through one. Detailed in a post on the police department's Facebook page, the Turkey native lived through a 7.6 magnitude quake in the country years ago. What touched you about it? Oh, just the officer's story that he lived there. And, you know, it had happened to him before. So it was just sad. So <laughs> they need the stuff. The police department put out a call for clothes, toiletries, blankets, and diapers. And sure enough, Nagatuck answered. The people are freezing over there, so I, and the kids, so I wanted to get some stuff to keep them warm. Piles and piles of donations coming in and filling up this conference room, and everything you see here was donated in just the last 12 hours or so. We're so fortunate. And these are things I don't need, and I'm sure I hope they help somebody. The police department is taking donations until February 25th, and by the looks of it, they'll need to expand their storage into another room. After feeling the worst of what Mother Nature can deal, those in Turkey will feel the best of what humanity can offer. It makes you want to help. Thanks to a personal story from Nagatuck. And thank you for your time and thank you for your donation. In Nagatuck, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.